Howdy, YouTube. This J Pour here. And I'm going to grab a bottle opener. <laughs> Didn't grab one. This will work. Review Mondays. I'm going to do a review on the. Uh, on, uh, well, I guess it kind of depends on what you want to call it. I don't really have. I guess my reviews are going to be more along the lines of uh, the normal everyday dude review or whatever. But anyways, it is what it is. Uh, I'm going to do this Philadelphia Brewing's Row House Red. It's uh, I don't know if any of you have, have seen this or or anything, but there it is. There's the cap. The cap is kind of cool. The label's really cool. It's 5% alcohol. It's called Philadelphia Style Ale. Uh, let's see. A little story on the side. From our city of neighborhoods, we offer you this. Beer de Mars. Or Ruby Farmhouse Ale. In true Philadelphia fashion, we meld American and European ingredients into a complex ale with flavors of toasted malt and rye. Row House Red is the perfect accompaniment for some quality time in the backyard in, in the backyard in the backyard garden or on the front stoop of your urban farmhouse. Urban farmhouse? Isn't it a farm farmhouse? urban farmhouse would be like a development where there should be a farmhouse and instead there's a goddamn subdivision. That would be more of an urban farmhouse. Call it what it is. Brewed and bottled by Philadelphia Brewing Company. Philadelphia PA. And then the government warning. 5%. Alrighty. I've had a couple beers from Philadelphia Brewing Company and it's kind of why I got this look on my face right now. Not really a huge fan. But that's why we go through this exercise. There we go. A little bit of smoke. I can see right now that this is going to be a hard beer to pour. It's got decent color. Red, it's definitely red. There we go. There, the way it started out, I thought it was going to be nothing but head. Alrighty. Uh, let's set this right here for y'all so you can get somewhat of a look at it while we're doing this. Take a look at the color. It's uh, a lot of carbonation going on in there. A lot of carbonation bubbles. At least I hope that's what that is. Because they're not moving around. That could be. Wow. I don't know that you guys can see that or not. But do you see that? All the little dots? That's not bad film. Or, you know, that's not my camera. That's. That could be stuff. <laughs> that stuff. This is going to be a quick review. I don't want to take a button. Gla uh, I don't know. I'm not real. I am not real crazy about taking a swallow out of that. Uh, look at the smell. The smell is, is like just straight up hops. Or, yeah, hops. Malt. It doesn't mention anything in here at all about hops. It's almost like it's non existent of hops. It's almost sour. It's almost like sour malt. And that stuff's still in there. That's not that's not carbonation bubbles where they'd be coming to the top. I think that's actual I think that's actual shit in my beer. I think somebody shit in a bottle, pour some fluid into it and Turn that into beer. Oh. 
Oh, that's awful. Oh, that's bad. That's very bad beer. And I, I want to bring the camera over here so you guys can take a look at this. This stuff is still sitting there. Do you see that? A lot of little dots and whatnot. That's awful. Oh my lord. Um, yeah, this is not good beer. This is not... Uh, you know what? I can't even take another sip of this beer. It's that bad. I Thumbs down. I mean, straight up. This is horrible. This is horrible. Horrible, nasty beer. What the hell were they thinking? That is terrible. You guys witnessed it. I tried. And I'm not one to pour out a beer. But God damn. That right there. Holy shit. That was horrible. Yeah, folks, that was... Uh, I can't even describe how bad that tasted. That, that was... You know what? That beer tasted that bad that uh, I'm not even going to take a chance on that bottle contaminating any kind of beer that I would ever want to want to drink or make. Holy hell. That was bad. This goes in the garbage. This right here doesn't even go in the recycle bin. Uh, here first. Get a good look at it folks. Row House Red from Philadelphia Brewing Company. If you happen to run across this particular beer, run as fast as you can. Jesus Christ, that was horrible. Jesus Christ, that was horrible. Alright, I need to wash that away with something. Um, Jesus, that was horrible. Okay. I'm going to drink a truly bad beer. To wash out of the way, at least this doesn't pretend to be anything other than what it is. I have a red dog. Jesus. And I'm drinking out of a glass. To give it some class. There, I gave it some... I gave it some... <laughs> see myself. Uh, yeah, but you know what? There's no pretending what this beer is. This is just a beer to drink. Period. Red Dog. That other one? Holy Jesus Christ. Don't want to drink that again. So there you have it, folks. That was my first bad beer. Bad beer review. Taste is still there a little bit. <sighs> okay, it, it's 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 coming. It's coming. I think I'm washing it away now. That's a good idea for something that... Wow, that tasted like ass. If I was to bite into ass, <clears throat> not knowing what it would taste like, that would be it. And not that I've ever been into ass and know what ass tastes like, because I, I, I don't... I've not bitten into any ass. I don't. No, no, never have. 